So I don't know about you guys, but I personally cannot stand Dozer in Battlefield 2042. And today I kind of just wanted to make a video on why I think he needs to be changed. It's not necessarily that he's overpowered. He is just very, very frustrating. And even if you disagree, I've got a few talking points that may potentially change your mind. If you're new to the channel and you are enjoying Battlefield 2042, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. But with that being said, let's get stuck right into it. Now, like I said, it's not really that he's overpowered. I don't think he is necessarily the meta. He's not something that is going to guarantee success. And therefore, I don't think you can really call him overpowered. It's mostly that Dozer is just pretty much broken and he is very, very annoying. I think the reason that I find him so annoying is that in his exact niche situation in terms of when you're really up close and personal and he has his shield out. He is borderline unstoppable in that situation. And yes, you can obviously jump to the side of him. You can use certain explosives and stuff like that. There are ways to get around it, but pretty much any Dozer player who is even half decent at the game will pretty much never lose a 1v1. Now, in my opinion, that is not the case with any other specialist in the game. There is no one else who is essentially unstoppable with their specific skill set. You look at someone like McKay, for example, you could say, oh, but if you're shooting at him, he can just grapple away. You can still shoot him while he's grappling. So it's not quite the same. You could use the excuse, oh, well, Felt can heal herself but yes it does take time to heal her and you can still keep shooting her while she's healing herself when Dozer has his shield out and he's looking at you, there is quite literally nothing that you can do unless you have a very specific loadout. And even then, for example, if you're carrying C5 or any sort of explosives that can deal with him, it's not even guaranteed to kill him either because he does have the trait that essentially reduces his damage taken from explosives. That right there is the issue that I personally have with him. The fact that his exact situation that he excels in is so much stronger than everyone else's. Like I said, it's not overpowered. You can't just pick Dozer and be guaranteed success. And therefore, I don't consider that to be overpowered it is essentially just in that exact situation that he is very very broken and it is definitely very frustrating now i actually did a bit of a live commentary and had a few like really prominent moments throughout that that i'm going to show you guys in this video where me as not a dozer player someone who has literally never played him at least not since launch can just pick up this specialist and absolutely dominate people in close quarters without any practice whatsoever that should not be happening and so i'm going to leave you guys with this live commentary and kind of show you exactly the moments that i'm talking about be sure to stick around to the end because I leave my final thoughts there as well and obviously be sure to leave your own thoughts down in the comment section as well but with that being said I'm gonna leave you guys with the live commentary so sit back relax and enjoy let me let me let me test this stuff out like can I take any damage or not nah? I can take explosive damage but I also well wow, there's people behind me too Oh, it's a one... Oh, okay, that's clapped. You know, it was a one-hit kill. Nah, that's just so dumb. It's honestly so stupid that I can just... Run up and punch a dude who can't... He can't stop me running at you. If you shoot... Look, there is... The ability to shoot their feet or you can throw certain explosives and stuff. Not everyone has that equipped and also if... I'm storming at you. It's pretty hard to shoot my feet. I can also, I'm pretty sure I can just, I can still crouch slide. So it's pretty dumb that I can have this much mobility. Like I'm, I'm a little bit slower than when I'm not using the shield. Like you obviously have a, I guess a negative speed, um, nearly said negative speed bonus. It's not quite a bonus, is it? But the, the shield does have a negative impact on your speed. And yet, I'm still sprinting. I'm still crouch sliding. It's, I don't know. It's all a little bit silly to me, boys. Yeah, I, des I deserve that teabag. I I want, as a dozer player, to be teabagged because I do not deserve respect from any human on this planet. Dead. The, the hitbox on this, I don't know if you even call that a hitbox. What are you, what are you attempting to do there, my guy? And even just one shot gadgets and like, this is just, I should have to put my shield away and be vulnerable to attack to do stuff like that. But I just, I can just stay behind my little wall of safety. Whoa. Well, 
Like, what are you meant to do there? What is that dude meant to do to stop me? Pretty sure he even tried shooting at my feet and he, you just can't. Excuse me. And he, that dude has the right idea. He's trying to jump over the top of me. He's trying to bait and switch me. And I'm not even good with those. And I just still kill him with these. Like, it's just... I don't know. I just don't like this at all. <laughs> it does... I don't know. I don't even... I can't even call it overpowered. It's not... It's not the meta, it's not the thing that will make you come first in every lobby you join. But it's like... I don't know, I can't call it overpowered, I don't know what to call it. Broken. Annoying. But there's gotta be a word for it. I'm just literally defending this whole objective by myself. I don't know how I feel about Dozer, boys. I, I don't... I can't say he's overpowered. I hope you guys know what I'm getting at when I say he's broken. He's not overpowered, he's not the meta, he's not something that if everyone just used Dozer they're guaranteed to do well. But there are so many situations where, I guess in that situation, he is broken. He is overpowered just through certain actions that he can take. I've shown a bunch of examples just in that game. This is my first game playing Dozer since pretty much launch. Like I haven't, I'm not a Dozer player. So you shouldn't be able to just pick up a specialist and essentially do that well with them in your first attempt. They should have some sort of skill curve and Dozer just doesn't. And I. The other funny part is that generally speaking, when I play, say like in Warzone, there was the meta for a while there where you pretty much brought a riot shield with you and you'd have an assault rifle and a riot shield. I'm terrible with riot shields. I'm genuinely bad in any other shooter that I've ever played with riot shields because they are balanced in most of those other games. They're still super annoying, but in a game like Warzone, Call of Duty, just in general, they are balanced. You can't sprint with them, or if you can, it is like super, super slow. You can't crouch slide. You can't do stuff like that. Uh, it takes even a lot longer to actually pull the shield out. You can't just like instantly equip it like you pretty much can with Dozer in this. They are just a lot more balanced in most other games they're in, which don't get me wrong, they're still annoying, but you can you can kind of counter them a lot easier than you can in this game. So I think that's my issue with it. It's not just the riot shield. I think I, I don't want a riot shield <laughs> in there regardless. But I think so long as it's balanced, then it can be fine. But the way that it is, the riot shield is too strong for how a riot shield should be. And I think that is where the issue lies for me personally. Just the overall balancing needs to be changed up quite a bit. I think you need to have some sort of like extended period where if you're pulling the shield out it's not instant it, you have to maybe get behind cover to do it or even if you're out in the open like if you're really sneaky hiding behind a tiny rock and trying to dodge and weave you can pull it out but if, if you're just in the open you shouldn't be able to just pull it out straight away that's just not how it should go i also think the movement needs to be nerfed quite a bit and then i think the fact that the part that is really really busted is that it's a one hit kill that's just absolutely like mind-boggling i didn't even i'm not gonna lie i didn't know that till i actually played him i've been one hit obviously by a lot of dozers but i kind of assumed it's in a lot of action i kind of assumed oh, i've probably taken a bit of damage from a grenade or someone shooting at me and then I get one hit because I'm half health. I didn't actually realize it is literally a one hit kill with an invincible shield. That, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of that. I think they really need to reconsider how his ability works. Again, don't necessarily need to delete the riot shield. It's too late for that in my opinion. You can't just be changing a whole, I mean, they've done it somewhat recently, so maybe they can, but I don't think they need to delete the whole ability. They just need to really tune it up um not even necessarily nerf it just change the way that it works to make it more balanced where you can maybe even make it stronger in certain areas but it just has more risk to it than how it currently is there's no risk to playing dozer you just literally have a invincibility shield at your will that one hit kills people that is just dumb in my opinion i feel like after that game that was my first game i feel as though if i literally just mained dozer for like three months and they didn't change him at all i legitimately think i could have games where i go like 50 and zero as infantry that should not happen i'm not that good of a player to be doing that but i genuinely think i can do that the the vulnerability just gets removed when you're using that shield and then just get in the right positions like i don't know how to position myself as dozer so there's probably a lot of times in that 
game where I was dying because I wasn't being smart about positioning. If I just main this dude for three months, I honestly just think I, you can borderline become invincible. So dice, please, please fix those. He needs a serious rework. It's not that he's broken and overpowered and he's the meta. He's just not. But he's super, super annoying in ways that a, a specialist shouldn't be like that. It's just, it's too broken of a system to be in a game like this, in my opinion. And I really do think that he needs to change. But with that being said, boys and gals, appreciate you watching nonetheless. I'm very keen to hear your thoughts as well. I know a lot of people are going to sort of fight back and say, oh, he's not overpowered and blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. I It's obviously just my opinion. I am keen to hear everyone's thoughts. So if you disagree with me completely, be sure to leave a comment. Don't just be like, nah, you're wrong. Actually explain why you think I'm wrong. Because most of the people who just say, nah, he's not, he's not broken or whatever. They're probably just Dozer mains who are just trying to defend who they're playing. If you actually provide a proper discussion to it, then you maybe will change my mind. I don't know, but I'm keen to hear your thoughts either way. So be sure to leave them down in the comment section. And obviously if you do agree with me too, feel free to leave some recommendations or, or like ideas as to how they could nerf it. I can even try and pass that on to the team at DICE. So keen to hear your thoughts down below. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there on the battlefield.